All right, so we got the new town launch trailer for Call of Duty Black Ops 6. Man, that's a great video. It's good. Man. All right. Welcome you to the one and only new town. Time to clean house. Breaking a gate. Wait, so like. Hold on, I got you. So uh, is this only for multiplayer? Hey, bro, Call of Duty know how to, bro, they know how to make a trailer. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Built with care, blown up with flair. Call of Duty Black Ops 6. Unlock the Vault Edition today. New Town. All right, so we got New Town coming through for Call of Duty Black Ops 6, um, which is so crazy because, like, I'm going to be honest with you, and the whole, like, New Town 2025 thing, like, I think a lot of people are, like, you know, focusing on it. Let me get some water real quick. So, yeah. I think a lot of people were, like, really focusing on, like, the whole, like, New Town uh, 2024, 2020, 2025 thing. Uh, because I was, I was really focused on like the whole Nuketown 2025. If you guys actually don't remember, uh, Call of Duty Black Ops um, 2, they had obviously Nuketown. That's what we all played Nuketown on. And um, to be fair, like it was like the whole 2025 thing, and we were like, dang, bro, that's in like that's in like 13 years, and like you know that was like 12. Well, mm, it's not 2025, 2025 yet, but that was like you know like 10 plus years ago. And so we're thinking, okay, once 2025 it comes, like you know. Uh, Nuketown is coming back, you know, it's a Call of Duty, whatever, it's going to be, you know, crazy or whatever. Now, to be fair, we actually did get a trailer for a Nuketown Warzone map. Um, I think this is specifically for multiplayer. First of all, it's actually nice to have Nuketown back. I think, like, if you play, like, Call of Duty Mobile, uh, I think Nuketown is, like, back on there. But I think Call of Duty and Call of Duty Mobile are two completely separate things. Like, bro, these skins, the game modes, everything is different. Like, it's not even, like... Obviously, like, it's Call of Duty, but, like, bro, it's completely different. But, um, you know, bro, yeah, November 1st, we're going to have Nuketown back on Call of Duty. It's been a long time. Uh, bro, outside for the first time in a long time. It's been a, bro, it's, it's literally been 10 plus years since we've seen this game um, in a new Call of Duty. So, let's give a round of applause for Call of Duty for bringing this back. Now, usually, I've seen, like, this whole pattern or, or wave of, like, you know, games... Uh, bringing old maps back, bringing old things back, which is, I mean, it, it's kind of cool, but at the same time, though, um, just know that, I mean, and I don't want to be, like, the bearer of bad news, but at the end of the day, this whole wave of, like, you know, bringing back old maps and bringing back uh, old modes and stuff like that, I don't see, like, anything wrong with it, but at the same time, though, um, I, I almost see it as, like, as, like, nostalgia chasing, if that makes sense. Um, and I always looked at that as, like, a, as, like, a, as a like a, as a good thing and a bad thing the good thing is like you know we get to have nuke town back and stuff like that obviously i'm not when, whenever i'm talking about nostalgia chasing stuff like that i'm not really talking about like new town 2025 because like obviously we were expecting new town to be you know coming back in 2025 because it, the map was called nuke town 2025 but i'm usually just talking about just gaming in general when i'm just talking about call of duty fortnite the whole thing with the fortnite rewind of going back to the old times stuff like that um Again, I don't see that as, like, a bad thing. I kind of see that as, like, a... It's cool, because, like, dang, like, you know, we really played through this, whatever. But at the same time, though, I, I like, the other side of it is you can never get that experience back. You can't get that new experience back of you playing Fortnite for the first time. You can never get that experience uh, back of you playing Call of Duty for the first time. Yes, those were, like, you know, really fun times. But the whole beauty of it was that you didn't know you were living in a nostalgia moment does that make sense you didn't know that you were like you know while you are playing call of duty you know and, and it's your team versus their team and you guys are like cussing going crazy back and forth you're this your mom's a this 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 whatever right that that was that's like a nostalgic time that was like that was like a fun moment a, a nostalgic uh moment or whatever um 
And to be honest with you, you will never get that experience back. All you can do is just keep living on. And then guess what? Five years from now, you're going to be thinking of this time, right? You get what I'm saying? So, you know, this whole thing about like the, the, the whole like bringing back stuff that we already that we all love and stuff like that. That's not a bad thing. But at the same time, like you're kind of like chasing nostalgia. You're kind of chasing the past. And that's not really a good thing. You know, you can't you can't get those feelings back anymore. You can't get those um, those first time feelings back because those were like the first time that specific moment happened. So um, with this whole Nuketown thing, I'm definitely going to play it uh, when a Nuketown map comes through. I'm going to play that uh, Warzone Nuketown map, but I'm not expecting me to be like, oh, my God, like, you know, uh, I'm so happy again. It feels like the old days. And it, guess what? It might feel like the old days, but I'm not going to get that first feeling of playing Nuketown, like that euphoric, like feeling of like, oh, like, oh, snap, I'm having so much fun. I'm just going to just keep living life right now and make moments right now. And then, like, you know, again, like I said before, five years later from now, we're we'll like, oh, dang, bro. Remember whenever they brung back uh, Nuketown or Call of Duty, whatever? That was crazy. I had a lot of fun, da 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 da. Because, again, in a lot of, you know, nostalgic moments, you know, you don't really, like, you don't know that you're in a nostalgic moment, you know? And it's best to not plan a moment. You get what I'm saying? Like, you know, it, moments are best when, like, moments are best, in my opinion, when they're, like, unplanned, when they're not. You know, orchestrate it when they when it just happened. When stuff just happened, whenever you pop in the game, you never played before and you played that game and it was nice or whatever, that's the that's the moment. You know, you can't go back and be like, Oh, I want to relive that moment again. No, you've already lived it. Go make another one. Go go play another game that you never played before. And maybe again, like I said before, again, five years later from now, you can look back and be like, dang, like, yo, I remember when I first played this game, that was crazy. Da da da. da. You, you know, you start to go back in the memory and stuff like that. Um, and, and so I don't want to, you know, fall into the whole, like, uh, nostalgia chasing thing because there has been a lot of games, and I'm not even talking about Call of Duty or Fortnite. It's a difference because Call of Duty and Fortnite, they've been going for so long that they can, like, I feel like they have the privilege to go back and be like, you know what, let's just bring this back from the other Call of Duty, from a Call of Duty that's seven years ago. Let's bring this back. Uh, I think the fans will like that. And then, like, it becomes this cool thing again. And then, like, it dies down, and that's when a new thing comes, and et cetera. They continue, you know? Like, they kind of go back to nostalgia, and it feels good for a second. And then they're like, all right, cool. Once we had our moment of nostalgia, let's keep moving forward. I like that. Call of Duty and Fortnite, especially Fortnite. They do a good job with that. Um, but when it comes to games like NBA 2K, for example, um, that uh, that game, when, the whole thing about bringing the, uh, the NBA 2K 15 stage courts back or whatever um i mean it i mean it was all right but like it wasn't like a you know oh my god yay let's go nba 2k16 uh parks are back yay like you know it, it was it like it it kind of piqued your interest for like 10 seconds and then it just died down because you're like all right well we already played it like we we played nba 2k16 before we were like we played the parks before you know, let's make a new moment. Let's make a new, you know, moment or whatever. But I listen, I'm, I'm just yapping right here. Uh, but we got Newtown coming back, man, uh, for 2024. I was expecting Newtown to come in, coming through uh, next year. But, I mean, they brought it back early. And I'm actually uh, waiting for, like, that Call of Duty um, uh, Nuke, uh, Newtown Warzone map as well. Can't wait for that. Other than that, man, comment down below, bro. What are you guys' thoughts on this whole thing? Um, do you guys like it? Do you guys not like it? Um, if you guys like the video, subscribe to the channel if you guys are not new. And...